Metabolic pathways are series of chemical reactions occurring within a cell. Pathways are important to the maintenance of homeostasis within an organism. These pathways work on some important principles. In this video, we are going to talk about the principles of metabolic pathways. Metabolic pathways are irreversible. A highly exogonic reaction is irreversible that is it goes to completion. An exogonic reaction is a reaction where the change in the delta G is negative. A negative delta G means that it is a spontaneous reaction. If such reaction is part of a multi-step pathway, it confers directionality on the pathway. That is, it makes the entire pathway irreversible. Catabolic and anabolic pathways must differ. Metabolism is essentially a linked series of chemical reactions forming metabolic pathways. The catabolic pathways are the pathways that convert energy from fuels into a biologically useful form. And the anabolic pathways are the pathways that require energy to form products. If two metabolites are metabolically interconvertible, the pathway from the pathway from the first to the second must differ the pathway from the second to the first. We can see here that the two pathways are different. The pathway 1 to 2 is different from the pathway 2 to 1. This is because if metabolite 1 is converted to metabolite 2 by an exogonic process, the conversion of metabolite 2 to metabolite 1 requires that free energy be supplied in order to bring this. Consequently, the pathways must differ in one of their reaction steps. The existence of independent interconversion routes allows independent control of two pathways. This is because it allows independent control of the two processes. Every metabolic pathway has a first committed step. In early steps of each pathway, there is an irreversible reaction that commits the intermediate it produces to continue down the pathway. A committed step in a metabolic pathway causes the entire pathway to move forward. The committed step usually has a large negative delta G value, which makes it spontaneous and hence the entire pathway move forward. All metabolic pathways are regulated. Metabolic pathways are regulated by laws of supply and demand. In order to have control on the flux of metabolites through a metabolic pathway, it is necessary to regulate its rate limiting step. The rate limiting step is the step of the pathway at which it is regulated. The enzymes that catalyze the first committed step is regulated. Metabolites are often regulated by feedback inhibition. For example, substance A is getting converted into B to C and ultimately the final product D is formed. If the concentration of D goes very high, it will inhibit the first reaction and the reaction will ultimately stop. This is the feedback inhibition. This is an effective way to exert control because it prevents the unnecessary synthesis of metabolites further along the pathway when they are not required. Metabolic pathways in eukaryotic cells occur in different cellular locations. The compartmentation of the eukaryotic cell allows different metabolic pathways to operate in different locations. These locations are either organelles or the different parts of the cell. The synthesis of metabolites in specific membrane-bound subcellular compartments makes their transport between their compartments a vital component of eukaryotic metabolism. 
An example is ATP. ATP is mainly generated in the mitochondria, but much of it is utilized in the cytoplasm. So these were the principles on which the metabolic pathways work in an efficient and systematic manner. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment for queries and suggestions. Thank you.